Hi, I'm Angela. This might be your very first time with the cello, or you may have some experience, either way. We're going to go over some basics on how to take care of this precious, delicate thing. First rule of thumb I want to tell you is to look after it like it's your dog, or a baby, or a baby dog. You don't want to leave it in a hot car, or drop it on the ground, or anything that might hurt it. Um, which is why we have cases. Um, you probably have a soft case, which is a lot more common than my hard case. So, in that case, you're going to have your bow, which looks like this, and a long skinny pocket on the front side of your case. So you're always going to want to take that out first. Always take the little guy out first because you don't want him hanging around by himself in a giant case. He might crack in half or something terrible like that. So take that out. Set it on a table or a music stand, anywhere flat nearby where no one's going to walk around and step on it. So after that, you probably have a zipper going all the way around your cello case. I have clasps. Either way, uh, we're going to undo these all the way around. If you have a zipper, you're probably going to want to sit down in a chair, put it on your lap, or put it on the ground somewhere where you have full control over the cello. So we're going to undo these all the way around. And, ta-da! We have a cello! So, in my case, I have this bungee cord around what's called the scroll, and I have a buckle fastening the cello in the case so it doesn't fall out when I open it. Yours might look completely different. Um, if so, it might not have any of these, which is, which is totally fine. You take it out, and it is kind of a ridiculous shape, right? So how do we even set this down on the ground? Don't make a habit of putting it on its back like this. You always want to keep it on its side like this so it's flat and it's not going to wobble around. As for maintenance, you probably want to get a soft cloth to keep in your case. It might even be a square of an old t-shirt. Something soft so that you can keep your cello looking nice and shiny. You're going to wipe down the strings and the wood after every time you play. And now that you've done all that work, taken it out of its case, set it in a nice space, we're going to pack it back up, which, remember, if you have a soft case, what do you put in first? Never the little guy. Never want him by himself in a case. So, you're going to put the cello in first. Like so. Now, I'm going to gently, because everything we do around the cello is gentle, uh, line it up. Ease it into its case and secure the buckle again and the strap. Yeah, that looks good. And now I'm going to align the case with itself. Like so. And then I'm going to buckle it all the way around again. All the way around all the way around the case. And next, if you have a soft case, you're going to put the bow in. So right back in that pocket, close the flap, and you are done. Where do you store your cello? You want to keep it in a cool, dry place. That's a very common rule of thumb. Never in direct sunlight, like we talked about before with the hot car. If you have a soft case, you're going to want to either find a corner and lean it up like this, or set it on its side like this, which is what I did. And we're going to keep that in the corner of a room or the edge of a room somewhere where nobody is going to walk around and knock it over. So again, this is a big responsibility and I know you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So thank you for watching this video and have fun.